Hey, Rage Against the Clamp Down. Hey, everyone. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it really brief. Uh, I think we I think we mostly agree. Um, so I agree that, you know, market ethics is kind of an oxymoron. That was the point of my video. Uh, the thing is that the market is hyped so much by, by governments all over the world, by certain other factions, say, um, you know, anarcho-capitalists, and even by libertarians, and even by a lot of left-wing parties these days. You know, people just say, well, the market doesn't allow it, we can't do it, right? Um, and I think where that comes from is this conflation of a system, which is amoral, like a market, with um, a set of rules because I think people always want rules. People always want to have this kind of compass, this ethical compass that they navigate by. People need that, and that got take that got taken away from people after you know we lost our religion, we lost our faith, we lost our community. We needed a replacement, and the market was that replacement. No, it didn't make any sense. No, the market never actually, if you look at the market, if you ask an economist, then they're not going to try to convince you that the market is supposed to be that ethical system. But people usurp these ideas and try to make them into a code of ethics. And I would compare that to social Darwinism, where people did exactly the same thing. They looked at how a system worked, a system in nature, and they tried to craft a system of ethics out of that so we you know this person is doesn't deserve to live so we need to get rid of them somehow um, and that's ethically justified because that's you know that's natural Darwinism that's evolution so people that's a naturalistic fallacy just like ha creating market ethics is a naturalistic fallacy and I think we agree on that because you say that you don't want market, you don't want the market to inform people's ethics, and you I mentioned the article by your friend that criticizes Ron Paul uh, for suggesting that we could let the market take this take this role. And I, you know, I didn't mean to suggest that um, that that if you use markets, that that inevitably inevitably leads to that or anything like that. What I was trying to say is that given the focus that we place on markets, uh, given the central kind of uh, position and the way that we discuss markets more than anything else almost, um, I think that we've fetishized markets to the extent that it's just, it's just all over the popular imagination it's all over the popular understanding of the world it's like a law of nature that's you know just like evolution just like so many people are convinced that social Darwinism makes sense and you know I, social Darwinism I know this myself if you go anywhere and you talk about survival of the fittest people are gonna know what you're talking about and they're gonna probably agree that yes you know that's that's makes perfect sense in fact it doesn't but that's what comes out of this, um, this, this, uh, you know, the fact that we learned about evolution, but we did not at the same time have enough of a conversation about evolution and what it means and what it means to human beings and what it means to ethics and what lessons we should learn from it and what lessons we can't learn from it or what it doesn't talk about. And I think that's the conversation that's miss missing about you know evolution. It's also the conversation that's missing about markets. Um, and I think we agree on that pretty much. I mean, that's all I was trying to say. I'm not trying to say get rid of markets. I'm not trying to say that if you have a market, it has to be that way. I'm not saying that the outcome of all markets is bad or that all markets are exactly the same. Well, you know, I think... I, the, the market mechanism, roughly, I think, you know, the, the idea people have of markets, you know, is roughly the same. Even if today's markets don't correspond to that, the idea people have of markets is uh, kind of equivalent, which is this just common exchange of goods on a kind of fair platform. 
but that's still nothing to inform us really about ethics, and that was my point. Uh, we need to keep that in mind, and we need to have a discussion. We can say, you know, if your opinion is that having a market for goods and services, um, you know, having mutual banks that provide credit-free loans, and so on and so forth, that that is the best way to ensure a just society, where people can, you know, fulfill themselves and uh, uphold their own codes of ethics. That's fine, but we need to have the conversation that that's not what's going to provide the code of ethics. And I know neither of us are suggesting it does, but I think that is something that a lot of people do think it does. And my big fear about going forward is that people will keep thinking that and that any effort to um, to get rid of regulations will in fact then unleash that kind of uh, pseudo-ethics that people have developed, uh, developed by fetishizing the market and that will actually create a lot more damage. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, Church of ST, I'll see you guys all later.